Well, today being the Martyrs Day uh, in the memory of uh, Bhagat Singh, Rajguru and Sukhdev, I have attempted to throw some light on their legal cases which led to their imprisonment initially and eventually death sentencing. This is important, uh, I guess, for the knowledge of our young generation, uh, especially uh, the, 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 the law students and public policy students. In December 1928, Bhagat Singh and his associate Shivram Rajguru had shot 21-year-old British police officer John Saunders in Lahore, British India. Perhaps mistaking Saunders for the British police superintendent James Scott, whom they had intended to assassinate because Scott was uh, responsible for the death of popular Indian nationalist leader Lala Lajpat Rai. Uh, by, by having you know ordered a lati charge uh, in, in which Lala Lajpat Rai was injured and, and two weeks after which uh, he, he died of a heart attack. Saunders fell by a single shot from Rajguru. He was uh, then as alleged shot several times by Bhagat Singh, uh, the, the post-mortem uh, post report uh, showing eight bullet wounds. Another associate of uh, Bhagat Singh, Chandrasekhar Azad, uh, shot dead an Indian policeman, uh, Chanan Singh, who attempted uh, to, to pursue Bhagat Singh and Rajguru as they had fled that scene. After that, Bhagat Singh and his associates, using aliases, publicly owned to avenging Lajpat, Lala Lajpat Rai's death, putting up uh, prepared posters which however, however they had altered to show Saunders as their intended target. That's what is alleged. Bhagat Singh was thereafter on the run for many months uh, and, and, and no convictions resulted thereof at that time. Surfacing again in April 1929, he exploded two improvised bombs inside the Central Legislative Assembly in Delhi. They showered leaflets from the gallery on the legislators uh, below, you know, shouting, uh, uh, they were shouting, you know, uh, slogans and, and, and then allowing the authorities to, to uh, arrest them. The arrest and the, and the resulting uh, publicity had the effect of bringing to light Bhagat Singh's involvement in the John Saunders case. The trial eventually began and both Bhagat Singh and uh, uh, Batukeshwar Dutt were sentenced to life prison for causing explosions of a, of a nature likely to endanger life unlawfully and maliciously. That's what the order said. Doubts have been raised about the accuracy of testimony offered at the trial. One key discrepancy concerned the automatic pistol that Bhagat Singh had been carrying when he was arrested. Some witnesses said that he had fired you know, two or three shots while, while the police sergeant who, who arrested him testified that the gun was pointed downward when he took it from him and, and, and that Bhagat Singh was, was playing with it. According to an article uh, in one of the journals, the prosecution witnesses were coached, tutored. Their accounts were incorrect. And Bhagat Singh had turned over the pistol himself. That was the, the, the factual thing. Bhagat Singh was given a life sentence. Later, Bhagat Singh, uh, Sukhdev, Rajguru and 21 others were charged with the Saunders murder. The, ma the magistrate had ordered that, that all the accused should be handcuffed. Bhagat Singh and others refused to be handcuffed and were subjected to brutal beating. 
the revolutionaries refused to attend the court and bhagat singh had to write a letter to the to the magistrate citing various reasons for their refusal to attend the hearing or the trial the magistrate ordered the trial to to be conducted proceeded with without the accused being present this was a massive major blow setback for bhagat singh as he could not as he could beg your pardon no longer use the trial as a forum to publicize his views to speed up the slow trial the viceroy uh, uh, lord irwin declared an emergency on 1st may 1930 and introduced an ordinance to set up a special tribunal composed or comprised of three high court judges for for the for that particular case the decision cut short the the normal process of justice as the the only appeal after the tribunal was to the privy council located in england on 2nd july 1930 a habeas corpus petition was filed in the high court challenging the ordinance on the grounds that it was ultra vires and therefore illegal the the viceroy had no powers to shorten the customary process of determining justice the petitioner the petition argued uh, that the defense of india act 1915 allowed the viceroy to introduce an ordinance and set up such a tribunal only under condition uh, beg your pardon only under the conditions of breakdown of law and order which it was claimed in this case had not occurred at all however uh, the the petition was dismissed uh, as being premature the ordinance uh, uh, and the tribunal then would a natural course lapse on 31st october 1930 as it had not been passed by the central assembly uh, uh, or the british parliament on 7th october 1930 the tribunal delivered its 300 page detailed judgment based on the evidence which was adduced before it and concluded that the, the that the participation of bhagat singh sukhdev and rajguru in sonder's murder, murder was proven they were sentenced to death by hanging an appeal was preferred was filed with the privy council bhagat singh was uh, uh, was initially you know not in favor of filing an appeal he was against filing of the appeal but he later agreed as he hoped uh, that the appeal would popularize his views or their cause in england the appellants claimed that the ordinance which created the tribunal was invalid while the uh, the government countered that the viceroy had complete mandate or he was fully empowered to create such a tribunal the appeal was obviously dismissed by judge uh, viscount dundon uh, and bhagat singh rajguru uh, and sukhdev three of them they were ordered to be hanged on 24th march 1931 mind it on 24th march 1931 the schedule was moved forward uh, uh, or advanced by 11 hours and the three were hanged on 23rd march which is today uh, 23rd march 1931 at 7:30 pm in in the lahore jail bhagat singh was merely 23 years old then it is reported that no magistrate at at that time was willing to supervise bhagat singh's hanging as was required by law the execution was supervised instead by an honorary judge who also signed the three death warrants as their original warrants had expired the jail authorities then broke a hole in the rear of the wall of the uh, in, uh, uh, in in the rear uh, sorry beg your pardon in the rear wall of the jail 
removed the bodies and secretly cremated the three men under the cover of darkness outside uh, uh, you know uh, uh, the bhagat singh's uh, village uh, and and then uh, threw the ashes into satluj river about you know 10 kilometers or 6 plus miles from ferozpur bhagat singh's trial uh, has been described by the indian supreme court as contrary to the fundamental doctrine of criminal jurisprudence because there was no opportunity for the accused to defend themselves the special tribunal was a departure from the normal procedure adopted for a trial and its decision could only be appealed uh, to, to, the, to the Privy Council, as I mentioned earlier, located in uh, Britain, England. Uh, the, the accused were uh, absent from the court and the judgment was passed ex parte. The ordinance which was introduced by the Viceroy to form the special tribunal was never approved, was never approved as required by the Central Assembly or you know even the British Parliament and it eventually lapsed without any legal or uh, constitutional sanctity.